Hey everybody, welcome back to Tom Girl. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and love is in the air. So tonight, Julana Dizan and I are going to give you our Valentine's Day gift guide with perfect ideas for your special guy, special girl in your life. And we're also going to tell you some things that we are truly, madly, deeply in love with. So stay tuned. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Oh, nice song. Yeah. Time. The mood a little bit here on Valentine's Day. I like it. I was wondering what song you were going to pick. <laughs> Had to start out with one of my favorite, uh -huh. you know, not nice. really quite a romantic song. But it's okay. A love song, it's right? a classic like... love song. <laughs> exactly. Hey guys, welcome to Tom Girl. We're going to have a fun one here for you tonight. It's almost February 1st, which means you have a little over two and a half weeks to start planning your Valentine's gift ideas. So that's why we're doing this one a little early so that you have time to shop, have time to go get those special items for those people that you love. So I'm your host JJ Jurgens and I'm joined by a lovely Tom girl here that I love so much you've seen her before welcome back Julana hi I'm Julana nice to have you thank you for having me on the show again I love joining you and I love talking about gift guides yeah so I love it we did our Christmas gift guide and that was so much fun so I'm excited for this one yeah so you guys would probably go back and check out our Christmas show too if you want to get some yeah. other you know if you, if you didn't buy it ideas. at Christmas you can buy it for Valentine's Day maybe exactly all right well I'm gonna let you kick it off with some of the things that you picked out for this. Okay, yeah, let's go right into it. So I actually picked these things because they're all things that I have bought for my boyfriend for gifts. So they're tried and true. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put them up here. All right, they're all kind of drink related, which I didn't plan, but it just ended up being like that. So the first one, and, and it's kind of like different types. So whatever type of guy you're is, there's probably something here that he might like. So this one is a coffee mug and it's from this company I found online. It's called Coffee and Motivation Company and they just have these really nice like matte black coffee mugs and they also do um, like tumble or like to go ones mm -hmm. but they just have great funny sayings on them like the one that I bought says do epic ish and then they have <laughs> other ones that are like work harder, just like kind of very motivating things. And the thing that I like about this company too is after I bought this, um, they put you know they put you on their email subscriptions and usually uh -huh. I unsubscribe, but since this whole company's thing is about motivation, like the founder of the company sends an email like once a week and it'll just be like one sentence of like a very motivational thing. Like it'll be like, today's your day, go out there and get it. Or, uh -huh. you know, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. You have to water your own grass. You know, it's like just <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. And it's kind of nice. It's not like a big email. It's just like a one liner and you're like, yeah. oh, cool. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, my second one is this. Do you know what this is by any chance? It's whey protein, right? Like yeah. You, okay, yeah. So if you are um, a fitness junkie like we are, <laughs> and also my boyfriend always goes to the gym, and he's always, a lot of people will bring their protein powder either in a shaker or sometimes like in a plastic bag, you know, mm -hmm. to use after they work out, and it's so messy. So this company I also found online, but basically it's a scoop. So you just scoop your protein powder in here and then you can like clip it onto your gym bag nice. and it's not messy and then when you want to like after your workout you can just pour it in your drink. Yeah. So I actually got this for my boyfriend for this Valentine's Day and I was like telling him I was like um oh, I'm, I'm I got you something I'm going to talk about on the show. He's like, "Well, I'm going to watch the show and find <laughs> out what it is." I was like, "Fine, Boiler. if you want to." <laughs> but this is really useful and this company um, is called On My Way and they're not that expensive either. I think I got a 3 pack for like maybe like $15, mm -hmm. $20. Um, but I think that's super useful yeah. if you have a fitness based boyfriend. And that, I would love that for work too because I have the yeah. whey protein, but I, of course, have the big giant. Like, right. thing. you're right. It's like it's not easy to like throw in your gym bag, or, and I'm too lazy to do the scoop into bags and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so that's very handy. Yeah, and it's like sometimes if you do it in the shaker bottles and you leave it there, they smell bad. Yeah. yeah. So I thought that was really cool. I obviously haven't tried it yet because I'm going to give it to him for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> um, yeah, and then my last drink related item for a guy is this. It's kind of like a rocks glass, a whiskey glass maybe, um, or for whatever, but I found these on, have you ever heard of the website Uncommon Goods? Yes. Okay, yeah. so I do a lot of my gift shopping on this website because they just have really unique things. Mm -hmm. 
So I found these on there, and basically they're, they have maps etched on them. So I thought this was really cool. Like, this is a map of Los Angeles, if you want to look at mm -hmm. it. And then they have pretty much every major city. Cool. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I got two. I got that one, and I got Nashville, because we, we live in Los Angeles, and one day we want to live in Nashville. So yeah. I was like, ah, that's kind of cute. It's very cool, and people could do it for, like, if they met in a certain city, yeah. or, like you said, if they want to travel yeah. somewhere, they want, or they want to drop some hints of somewhere they want to travel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. pretty much. But yeah, that'd be cute. Like we met here. So you know, sometimes people do. We met in this city. City. We got married in this city. Mm -hmm. Like they do little things like that. So that's a cool idea. Yeah. So those are my three picks for guys. All right. She go ahead and do your. Um, I think I put them in order. Go ahead and do your girls too. Yeah. Okay. All right. So my gifts for girls. I was thinking more like girlfriends. I mm -hmm. think like if I was gonna give gifts to like my friends. Um. So my first one is. A face mask. I've been super into face masks. Hold on. I've been super into face masks lately, and I found these. It's what's the brand? It's called Formula 1006, and they're these really like colorful face masks. They sell them. I found mine at CVS, but they have all different colors, and then each color is like for a different. Like this one's coconut and cucumber for calming your skin, but. I just like these because they have a lot of different ones. Like some are like skin brighteners or some are mud masks. So yeah. they're not that expensive. They're like $6. I bought a bunch of them to kind of try them out. So I think that's something cute for a girl. Uh, my second one is, oh, like a cute notebook set and pens or pencils. I always think is a great gift in general yeah. because it's so important. I feel like it's important for people to keep track of their goals and just mm -hmm. take notes and write things down. So... I like just found very these at cute. random stores. Like these are cute notebooks, right? Yeah, very so cute. So these came in a set like two, and then I found these. Like look, look uh, at these colored pencils. And then there's motivational things on there. Yeah, the pencils. and they say like they say enjoy the simple things, follow your dreams. So it's just like, you know, something cute like that. Where um where did you find those? These I found. I'm not sure, but like. They sell these all these stuff at stores like do you know like Francesca's yeah. and like boutiques like that. I feel like any store like that in the mall always has like cute notebooks and things mm -hmm. like. And then my last item. Oh, where is it? Oh, guys, actually Juliet from the booth. One of my favorite places to buy all these like notepads and stuff is any Marshalls or TG Maxx because oh, yeah. they're oh. super discounted and they right. have lots of options. So yeah, highly good recommend one. That. Yeah. Thank you, Juliet. That's great. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Um, Right, my last one, me and my sister discovered this over Christmas. Mm -hmm. These are from Sephora, and it's... So cute little bananas on there. Yeah, <laughs> so they came out with all these flavored chapstick, but smell it. Oh. It smells like, do you, did you ever oh. eat banana Laffy Taffy? Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty much banana Laffy Taffy chapstick. Oh. I feel like kids all over the world are eating those. You know, I have know. some kids eat chapstick and stuff. Oh my gosh, that smells delicious. Hey, you want to smell again? <laughs> yeah. <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah, so we found these and we're like, wow, banana, like you never find anything yeah. banana flavored. So we bought these and they're $6, which when I thought about it, I was like, and it's kind of expensive for chapstick, but because it's in Sephora, like everything in Sephora is way more expensive. Yeah. So you're like, six dollars, that's cheap, right? Yeah. So, right. And was it at the sucks. end when you're checking out? Yeah. Because that's course. where they always get you where to. They put all the little mini things <laughs> yeah. and you're like, oh, this is cheap. And you're like, wait, it's not really, but yeah. <laughs> whatever, six dollars. I mean, I bought this. They have a lot of flavors. They have like an almond one, kiwi, like a lot of cool ones. So yeah. Very cute. Those are I my love picks. them. And I love that you did it for girlfriends because mm -hmm. uh, we were thinking for girls, and I, it's great. So we have that covered too because it is yeah. nice to give a shout out to your girlfriends who always have your back. And for all the, if you're, if you're single too, it's not mm -hmm. a good time to just celebrate anybody yeah. that you love in your life. Valentine's Day. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's cute. Like sometimes what I do for my friends is like I'll buy, like this one's obviously a small travel size one. So if you like pair two things together, I think it's just cute yeah. too. Yeah. Like two little things. Yeah. Or do that, or mm -hmm. like, yeah, with a bottle of, you know, cheap wine or something. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Two buck check, right? From yeah. Trader Joe's. I have that on <laughs> oh, my yeah? salon. My I didn't even <laughs> so look at funny. that. I promise yep, I did. I know. That's <laughs> awesome. All right. So I'll go ahead and say for my picks for him first. 
Um, and like you two, I hope that the guy I'm seeing isn't watching either, which I'm sure he's probably not, because uh, this will be a spoiler as well. Um, so for mm. those guys that love beer and also like to care, it doesn't have to be beer, it can be pop, whatever, um, but are also maybe campers or just like their drinks really cold, this is cool. I love Yeti stuff, and so much of it is like is so expensive, mm -hmm. but like at least these are like, you know, I, I think this was like 20 25 bucks, um, but it's really cool that that top just twists off and then you put your can down inside um, And then you replace that can obviously with the hand. It's supposed to keep it cold. Yeah. For, for hours and hours So that was uh, one of my choices and then to go along with that um, I was looking up uh, they have these beer of the month clubs where you can uh, this one I found was called AmazingClubs.com, and there's different I knew some of them were pretty can be pricey because it's like for a year and then they just send them mm -hmm. like um, I think is that 12 different bottles like per month to try but on this one what I liked is you could um, shorten the time like you could just do three months or six months you could kind of set it as long as as for as long as you wanted would kind of match your your price range so that was uh, another beer option drinking option uh, but the cool thing about this club also was that um, they also had uh, any other clubs you wanted that bacon wine barbecue hot oh, wow. sauce yeah so whatever your guy or girl might be into that the, the, you could pick all those kinds of different clubs. You know what? I know someone, actually, my best friend would love a bacon of the month yeah. subscription. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> great. I mean, who I doesn't love bacon? Bacon, <laughs> bacon of the month could be great because actually I just had but bacon the last three days, but it's like you can get the maple bacon or yeah. all like different flavors. So I would like to see what they came up with for the different flavors of bacon. All right. And then my last one, this one kind of goes, it, this could be like a, a couple gift because these are actually unisex sex hoodies this keeps popping up on my Instagram loud out of nowhere and it's sportsfanisland.com so they have for college teams pro teams and then they're re uh, reversible so I believe you know she's got the inside the Sherpa side out and then he's got the other side so um, the, the giant so I don't know if you do for the girl if you you know wear that walking down the street but I can't think of anything better to just sit de be sitting watching like sports and all weekend on your couch and it looks pretty freaking comfortable yeah it looks pretty cozy <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Especially, they look really happy, so <laughs> it must be nice. Must be working. Yeah, happy couple. All right, and then for her, my first one, I guess I'm continuing with the the pullover thing. I got I ordered this and this was like like around 30 bucks. And this kit is the softest like just I want to live it. I live in it all the time. It's the most coziest pullover like I've ever mm -hmm. had, and it's great. Like you can pull it on after yoga, or pull it on like in the morning out here when it's hot, uh, you know, cold, and you're going on hikes and stuff. But uh, just a a lightweight, you know, That's kind of cool. fun. Is that a, like an activewear company? Um, a little bit, or just I, a fashion company? I. I'd never heard of them before to be honest, but they have a bunch of different things on their site. So yeah, and I don't know if it's pronounced Lube or. Lube. Or it's what, probably but I not never heard it. of it. Uh, but I will say, they have a bunch of different colors of that, and I tried. They have mm. plaid as well, which I thought was cute. But I, I don't recommend ordering the plaid one because for some reason it's not soft as the other ones. Like really? I ordered, because I actually ordered one for a girlfriend, and um, it, I ordered a plaid one, and it's like it's kind of stiffer. And I don't yeah. know why. I don't know what Might it is. Might be a different but, kind of fabric. Yeah. Or something. So stick with these solid colored ones Good if you do know. do it. Yeah. All right. And then this next one is um, pajama set that I just thought was super cute. Super cute and it was only $16.99 so I think you could like wrap that up and make it look like you know as a, a that fans, what girl doesn't like to get a little pajamas or lingerie for Valentine's Day? So That's I thought this was super cute. super cute. You know what's funny about that is Literally before I came here tonight, my neighbor texted me and she was like, hey girl, do you have any cute pajamas because I'm going to a pajama party and I don't have any pajamas. I was like, literally no. Like, I don't have any cute pajamas either. I just feel like a big t-shirt or something. Oh, I know. And I think in December I'd have a pajama party to go to and I was like, I don't have any pajamas. So. Yeah. Yeah, so check this that si good. check that site out. That was Zaful, which I haven't heard of either. Z A F U L. Um, so then my last option is just if you want to go with the simple like chocolates. I freaking love these things. These skinny dipped almonds. I've never seen those. They're a weird kind of texture because it's kind of like 
they're they're coated in like dark chocolate, but it's kind of like a dry dark dark chocolate. So it does come off okay. on your fingers, you know. But um, and it's, I just love them. Like they're not as sweet as like like a box of chocolates. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have all different flavors. So I think I pulled some of the other flavors. They have like peanut butter and mocha wow. and like, yeah, espresso. So. Just something if you wanted to do a little different. Oh, and then this was my other two-buck chuck option. So my <laughs> other option, if you just want to go, is these dark chocolate peanut butter cups are my absolute favorite from Trader Joe's. And you combine that with a bottle of two-buck chuck wine, and you're set for a little romance. Yeah. I think if there's any guys watching this and all else fails, you can never go wrong with a box of nice chocolates, wine, and flowers. Yeah. You're like golden. Some people think flowers are cheesy. I'm like, no. Girls like flowers. They just do. We just do. I agree. I used to, when I was younger, I didn't get the flower thing. Like, I was like, oh, just so much money to waste on flowers. I gotta admit, I love yeah. flowers. But I still don't like, you don't have to buy, spend a lot. Like, I still like just the Trader Joe, Joe's yeah. flowers are what like, I get all the time. It's, yeah, flowers like from Trader bucks. Joe's yeah. or the grocery stores. Enough. Yeah. It's the thought that counts, you know? Exactly. It goes a long ways. Yeah. All right. And then this is just a random option for, you know, if this is, could be for both, for those couples that, you know, you can't decide or, you know, maybe you want to get a, you're not ready to have kids yet, you're ready to take that, like, puppy stage, and you're maybe you're, by, like, looking at puppies. Mm. This puppy, I just thought, is the most adorable thing because it's a combination of a golden retriever and a dachshund. So this whole article was about all these random, like, mutt puppies instead of getting, like, going to breeders and buying, mm -hmm. you know, and there were just so many freaking cute dogs. So anyway, throw, throw that one out there. Aww. All right. Back to you to talk about some of your more your favorite things. Okay, um, things I love. I get it now yeah. because we're talking about love. love this is yes. a love episode. <laughs> First, I was like, anything that I love. Okay, <laughs> so I really like books. I've always liked to read, and I used to read a lot of fiction, like fantasy books, like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, anything with dragons and stuff. And then I moved to LA when I was 26, so I was like mid adult, right? And I was like, oh, I need some help. I need to start <laughs> reading some like help, some self-help books and whatnot. So I started reading a lot more books like that. And I found a couple that I seriously live by. And I tell all of my friends about them. And some of them just don't listen to me. I'm like, look, <laughs> you need to read this book. It will change your life, I promise. And the one in particular that I'm talking about is Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Have you read it? I have read that one. Okay, so you Long know what I'm talking ago, about. Long time ago, but I did, yeah. I read, right? Yeah. Life-changing. Seriously, this book is so old, but I feel like it's really true what the book talks about, that men and women are different species. We just don't think the same, and, like, after I read this book, I realized that all the problems that guys and girls have in relationships is not because, like, you're jealous or angry is most of it comes down to you just don't understand each other yeah. and each other's point of views so after I read this book my entire love life just changed and I was like mm. it changed me as a person too because I was like now I understand men and how they think and what they mean when they say certain things mm -hmm. you know and also girls so like now when girls ask me for advice I can give it to them in a very like logical reasonable viewpoint Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes they still yep. don't listen. <laughs> sometimes they still go like crazy girl, which is very natural because like I used to be a little bit crazy too, but I feel like once you read this book, it helps you not be crazy. Yeah. Would you agree with me? Sense. I would agree with you. Yeah. Because you just don't think about it. And especially, you know, when you're younger, going through things, you just, it's so easy to just have an emotional reaction to mm -hmm. things. And then when you, it does change your perspective and make you understand a little bit more. Yeah. It's like you speak two different languages, and once yeah. you understand their language, you're like, oh, this actually, this is not a problem at all. Yeah. So that's my first <laughs> one. Please read the book. Please read it. It will change your life, I promise. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> my second one, and probably a lot of people know about now, is The Secret Art of Tidying by Marie Kondo. And she's got a, a series out now on Netflix, I think. Have mm. you seen it? It's called I Tidying Up. I've, I've seen, I think I've seen people post about okay. her working with them, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, there's a lot of memes going around now on social media that are like about her and her way. Or, or maybe you've seen some, they're like, does this spark joy? Because that's kind of like her tagline. <laughs> so I read her book like a year and a half ago, and her method of uh, cleaning and tidying is basically only keeping the things that really spark joy in you. Mm -hmm. So you know like have you ever been cleaning out your closet and say you pull out this jacket and you're like oh I haven't worn this jacket in six months but 
I like it, and maybe I'll need it for like a motorcycle themed party. Yep. Right? Yep, I, yes. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, me too. And then you have those items where you pull it out and you're like, immediately you're like, this is my favorite sweater. Yeah. So you know how yeah, that feels. Yeah. So that's basically like her whole theory is that you should try to only keep those items that you really love. And um, I just really liked her book and her mm -hmm. method. So after I read it, I this was January last year, I made a list and I went through everything in my house, like bags, wallets, accessories, clothing, just everything, kitchenware. And now she has a show. So if you guys don't <laughs> like to read, you can watch the show and kind of like get tidbits from her. But did you end up dumping out a lot of stuff? Happening? Yeah, I got, I got rid of a lot of stuff, and it just kind of, it also, like, impacted my life because it made me want to just be a little bit more simple. And I was like, I don't need all this stuff. And actually, sometimes when you have too much stuff, it makes you feel like you don't have anything. Yeah. You know, like, you could have a closet full of clothes and be like, I have nothing to wear. Yeah. But actually, if you have only maybe, like, 20 shirts that you love... Then every day you wake up and you're like, oh, this shirt, and you're happy about it. And there's also the feeling when you open and there's so much stuff in there that you're just, and you don't like any of it, but, it, but it's also jammed in there. Like, you just feel, it kind of always makes you feel overwhelmed or not. Mm -hmm. But when I, the silly thing, but like I got shoe organizers, organizers and put everything in. Now when I open that and I see that, it calms me. Like, it, it just looks like organized yeah. and it's a different feeling than yeah. having mess fall on you or scattered. Yeah. And you know what else is funny about this? I just spent the weekend with my best friend, and she has a three-year-old. And her three-year-old used to wake up in the morning and open the drawers and take ev all the clothes out and throw them all over the room. So my best friend would always pick them up and, like, just stuff them back in the drawer because she was like, oh, I'm not going to organize them because she's going to do the same thing tomorrow. And she said she watched the show, Tidying Up. She watched an episode, and uh, Marie Kondo is very adamant about like folding everything and placing it in your drawers like you said so that you can mm -hmm. see everything and it looks neat and you can see what you have so she was like I just did that with her drawers one day so I folded everything and I put it all neat in the drawer and since that day like she hasn't messed it up so she was yes. like I wonder if it's because it looks nice that she doesn't yeah. want to mess it you know yeah that's so interesting I, yeah I thought that was really interesting I was like yeah. hmm maybe it worked. yeah uh, and I think I have one more book okay the Defining Decade, Why Your 20s Matter, and How to Make the Most of Them Now. Have you heard of this book? Mm -mm. Okay, I don't remember where I found this book, but basically it's a book about kind of like the millennial generation and what's, what's going on now in society. So it kind of states like our parents' generation was kind of more like they got married really young and settled down really young, and then they kind of felt like you know, maybe they didn't get a chance to live their lives and do all the things they wanted before they settled down. So they're telling their kids, oh, your 20s, like, go exploring, go do whatever you want, don't settle down, like, you can be whatever you want, you know, mm -hmm, go have fun. Mm -hmm. But they're taking that to an extreme where they're, they're spending their 20s, like, doing nothing, and there's so many options, like we were talking about even with your closet, that they don't want to commit to anything. Mm -hmm. So instead, they're thinking, oh, I can be anything in the world. Like, what should I be? And then they're not making any commitments. They're not getting real jobs. They're just, like, working at Starbucks or McDonald's or what have you mm -hmm. and not picking, like, a career path. And then all of a sudden, they're hitting their, you know, 27, 28, 29, and then they hit 30, and they're like, oh, my God, I'm an adult now. I, now I need, like, a career, and I need a relationship and get married soon and buy a house, and mm -hmm. I'm not, like, set up for any of these things. So it's interesting. It's so interesting, yeah. and I love it. Like, I love reading about generations and how people think. So that book is very interesting. Yeah. It's kind of saying, like, and kind of guide you. I think if you are in your 20s, you should read this book because it kind of explains the things that you're probably going through. And it says, you know, actually, they don't want to make choices and decisions because they feel like it's going to lock them down. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you make a commitment to something, it's easier to live out the rest of your life because then you have one thing that you're focused on and you can plan things around it. Mm -hmm. Or have know? something stable and then still kind of exactly. branch out to things. Juliet, this is just what we were talking about pre-show.
Was it? Was. Yes. You did. There I'm, you go. I'm here in the uh, Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, Juliet, buy this book. Read it. Actually, I have it. I'll bring it for you. Thank you. Uh, uh, this is why this show is so good, and I also enjoy our conversations uh, pre-taping. It's, uh, yeah. it's very important to have a Tom girl by your side. <laughs> Me too. I love, I love when things like that happen. I love when the universe does that. It's like, yeah, because mm -hmm. you, were, you were here for that, so you missed out the whole, but it yeah. was just exactly what we were discussing. <laughs> awesome. All right, is that back to me now? For, yeah. Okay, so, so for something that I love, I think since I do spend time scrolling through Instagram and I stalk people a lot of times on there to try to get them on the show, I decided to pick my top uh, th three, and it might not be my top, but there's ones that I love. Um, so this first one is called She Explores, and it's she then underscore explores, and it is stories inspired by the outdoors, the road, and life. So I just I just look at this and it just mm -hmm. makes me happy. And it just I like to follow these to look at places that I might want to go to sometime. It's all these uh, women doing all these explorations. So I think that's really cool too. And it's just fine. I find it just really motivating and a fun place to go to. Another one I follow, the next one is hashtag cabin love. And um, or yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. And Again, this just makes me happy too. It's all just cabins, but I think I, you know I grew up on a lake, so we were uh, had cabins all around us. So I've always kind of been enthralled with cabins, and so th there's just beautiful cabins all across the world on this on this Instagram account, and they're just just fun to look at. I'm into that. I yeah. love cabins. Yeah, and I think I mean I love A frames. Like there was somebody that did you know re just renovated a whole uh, A frame up in, in Big Bear, and it just oh, cool. looks gorgeous. And I think how fun because that's not that far away, mm -hmm. like from us to just be able to yeah. go up there and. You know, spend a weekend in a cabin. It's fun. I just saw like one of those tiny home oh, yeah. um, episodes, and it was like a tiny like A-frame cabin. Oh, cute. So cute. All right, and then my last one is Stay Wild Magazine. And again, this is just another one that they have gorgeous nature photos, adventure photos, and it's just a really cool group of people that I love what they post, and it's just a, a fun a fun account to, to follow and be inspired and get you set up for going on another adventure. Yeah, those are nice photos. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I think that's about all we have for any. Let's see. Any other? What since we started with genuine? Let's let's end by <laughs> what is one of your favorite oh. romance songs? Get it on songs. Whatever kind Get of it songs. On songs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what? I think. I feel like now, the Get It On song. Like I literally, I used to have a playlist called baby making because that's like what the genre yeah. was you know like I feel like probably in the what would you say 2000s mid 2000s maybe mm -hmm. there was like that whole genuine genuine Tyrese remember pretty yep. Ricky yep 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 okay yeah. so all those like, songs Mario they, they had songs that were baby making uh, songs that's yep. what they were for <laughs> And there, there's no music like that anymore. No, I think. definitely no. not on the radio because all those songs used to be on the radio. Yeah, and I used to love all that was like Black Street, New Edition, Keith Sweat, like yeah. all those kinds. You know, those two that are, are in that same kind of genre. Uh -huh. So good. Yeah, and actually, a Pretty Ricky song came on my like all, all my iPod has really old songs because I never like now I just stream music, but uh -huh. those are all the ones I had like downloaded from all those Bear Share and whatnot so long ago, <laughs> but. One of the Pretty Ricky songs came out, I was like, man, I forgot how much I liked this song. <laughs> you know, it's like kind of nice when you hear a really old song, you're like, yeah. oh, yeah. You might have to put that one on for your boyfriend this <laughs> Valentine's Day with his drinks and his whey protein. Right? <laughs> Should I have holes? I'll come in like this. Yeah, like, do you want protein or do you want whiskey? What do you want? Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Juliet, do you have a song before we wrap up? Uh, oh, I've been really, really loving Lizzo. Uh, it, any of her songs are really good. There's Juice, uh, and there's one called Boys, and it's not necessarily a love song, but it's, it's such a feel-good song that it makes you want to baby make for sure. Oh, <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> well, ladies, thank you so much. This was so much fun. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Get lots of love, surrounded by lots of love. But mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming in, doing the Definitely. gift guide again. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Tell everybody where they can follow you at. Okay, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Juana and actually I forgot that um, this company like I said the one for protein they I told them I was coming on the show they actually sent me some extra ones ah. so we can do some giveaways so uh, follow us on Instagram and we'll post about it and let you guys know how oh very cool love it all right guys thank you much thank you so much for joining us again we'll see you here ah, I 
can't. I'm so worked <laughs> up that I can't even talk. We will see you here again next week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.